Hello, hello. And welcome back once again to Marrakesh. And today we are going to take care of the bathroom break challenge. And we are finally going to get round to the straight shot challenge. I completely forgot I hadn't done this one. So we'll, we'll take care of that today. So for this, all we need to bring with us is a silenced pistol. If you don't want to get the... Uh, pick up somebody's gun on the way basically I've brought my silence pistol so from the start right off the bat what we're gonna do is make our way over to the consulate building once again using the back streets wherever possible just to avoid the crowds and once we get to the consulate building we are gonna make our way down the side of the building like we normally do retrieving on the way our crowbar so here we are at the consulate building we're gonna grab the crowbar from off this drum locate ourselves by the wall and we're gonna wait for the security guard on the other side of the wall there to turn around and wander off thank you very much and we're gonna vault over the wall and down into the car park just on our left here you made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Right, so we're going to use the cover of all the cars and boxes, make our way round to the left, down into the mechanic pit, and we're going to stop at the door to the tunnel entrance, and we're going to wait for the guard on the other side of the door to turn round. And then we're going to make our way through. We're going to throw our crowbar at his head. And we're going to grab him our crowbar, his gun, we're going to grab his body, we're going to hide him in the closet that's just here, and we're going to take his outfit. We're now going to make our way to the far end of the tunnel, I'm going the wrong way, that's better, and we're going to retrieve the key card for the consulate off of another guard at the far end of the tunnel. Salute, soldier. Yeah, good morning. So straight through, right through the tunnel, right through to the other end, which is the shoe shop end of the tunnel, which is just up these stairs here. And we're just gonna wait in this little room here for the guard who is currently on the stairs to come down the stairs into the room and promptly go to sleep we're gonna grab his gun grab the consulate key card and we're gonna hide his body in the cupboard over here so there we go so what we're gonna do now is make our way back through the tunnel right through to the car park once again and we're going to make our way up into the consulate building itself. So, like I said at the start, we haven't actually taken care of the straight shot challenge. So there is no chance whatsoever of a silent assassin rating for this one. I'm just going to essentially run into the consulate and shoot him in the head. That will get you that challenge. But I'm also going to leave his body there bleeding for all to find. I'm not worried about the silent assassin rating for this one. So once we're up in the car park we're gonna make our way round, hug the wall round to the left until we come to a set of double doors. We're gonna use our key card on the double doors and make our way up into the consulate building and up onto the first floor. Do we have an understanding? And once up here we're gonna hang a quick left into this janitor's room where we will turn on the hoover that will distract a guard on the other side of this door and when he comes in to turn the hoover off we will knock him out, take his outfit and wait for Klaus Strandberg to arrive so here comes the guard now, we're going to close the door behind him because he was born in a barn knock him out once he's turned off the hoover we're going to hide his body in this crate right here here we go, take his outfit, we're going to select our silenced pistol, although you can use any weapon you want really, 
the point of the matter is that I shoot him in the head. Let's grab some extra ammo there. And we're going to make our way out onto the balcony here. And we're just going to wait for Klaus Strandberg to arrive. Uh, it looks as though he's quite a long way off on his routine. So we're going to speed things up a little bit. Uh, he should be making his way over here shortly. Again, we're going to ignore the other guard. We're not worried about a silent assassin. Not worried about being uh, having the body found. So Strandberg should be almost ready to enter in to this room. I don't know what this room is, the expo room I'm guessing. But here he comes now, so we're just going to line up our shot, shoot him in the head. Target down. Next up. Razor Zaydan. So you go, that that will get you the straight shot challenge. We're going to put on our elite soldier's outfit once again. And we're going to try to escape. Now unfortunately, there is an enforcer just making his way back this way. So we need to go back to the janitor's room. And hide in the box. Because there will be a bit of panic. But once that's all calmed down, we're free to exit the box. Keep an eye out for the enforcers, of which there are one or two. And we're just going to make our way back down the stairs, back down into the car park, and we'll make our way out of the consulate compound itself. So once we're down the stairs, back into the car park area we're going to hang a right through these doors follow it all the way around to the right or to the left even should I say past the mechanics area out through the single door up at the end or go through the tunnel it all depends you can go whichever way you want to go Usually, in most of the other videos, as if you've seen any of them, I will exit the consulate building completely and take the streets. But it's probably quicker to take the tunnel itself. Something I've not yet done. So once we made it through the tunnel, and out the other side we emerge at the shoe shop and once we're past the barricade and the centurion there we're gonna hang a quick right and then a quick right again up the stairs so the and we're at the school and because of our outfit we're able to just run straight past everyone there is one enforcer down here in this courtyard area so keep an eye out for him and we're just going to dive through this You're window in. here Good work, 47. and straight now down the corridor right to the end and we will find two guards sitting down chatting just chilling out says. and right behind them we will find an intercom up. system which we will turn on so basically what we've done there is we've amplified their conversation and they are both basically slagging off Razor Zidane and Razor Zidane has heard them right so Zidane is going to enter into the bathroom right where that toilet is you can see there uh, he's going to look down through the hole in the floor and see the two guys giving him a bit of a ribbon. And at this point I thought the game might have crashed or something because no one moves for about 10 seconds. But eventually Razor Zadam will make his way down the stairs to berate his two insubordinate, insubordinates. 
There he goes now. We're going to duck our way back in through the window. And we're going to position ourselves by said toilet that I mentioned earlier, which is just here on the edge. And we're going to wait for Razor Zidane to make his way down the stairs and into the room below. And he will position himself directly underneath the toilet seat here, or the, the toilet bowl. And once he's in position, all we have to do is knock it off the edge. As simple as that. Are you completely out of your mind? So Razor Zidane is now here. As he walks forwards, he will stop. He's now in perfect position. So he'll drop the toilet on his head. I bet these two guys are thinking, Oh, that was lucky. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Right, so that will get you the bathroom break challenge. All we've got to do now is make our way, like Diana said, to an exit. And I'm going to spend the next five minutes running around in here looking for the army truck key. I know it's in one of these rooms with an enforcer. I just can't remember which room it is. So we're going to go and visit all of them one by one. Attention. So welcome so to the Agent Anubis school tour. General as we Z. head our way down the stairs Z. here we will pass a guard. We will make our way round to the right. We will enter head. into any Mission number of these rooms order. looking Most for an enforcer. Yeah, this is the printing room. That's no good to us. And the room on the other side here Stand is the orders. ammunition room. So that's no good to us. And the room here, once again, nope, that's no good to us either. So the room I'm looking for must be upstairs. By process of elimination, it's got to be this one. And it is. This is the command room, I believe, or the central communications room, or operations but essentially this is where the army truck key is and unfortunately the army truck key is right where the enforcer is standing so we're gonna have to wait this guy out come on mate move away move along So there we go, he's moving off. We're going to just grab the keys off the corner of the desk here and make good our escape. So all we've got to do now is make our way back down the stairs and out of the building. And just where the APC cannon gun is, or the cannon vehicle, just in front of us there. That's the APC. And just to our left is a Hummer and we can exit the building. So there you go, that's the bathroom break challenge and the straight shot challenge completed. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.